Hey, I'm Tish. I'm John. And today we're gonna talk about sex. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> today we're gonna talk about why we're waiting till marriage to have sex. Um, it was like our second date, I think. Second or third, it's kind of blurry <laughs> around those times. Um, things have been going really well, mm -hmm. and we had already like kind of established like a really open line of communication, and I knew that uh, if things continued to go well, it was probably gonna come up, so I went ahead and just asked her like what her stance was on sex before marriage. Yeah, we were on our way to the movies, and he asked that question, and <laughs> <laughs> my honest response was, well, I wasn't really thinking about waiting until marriage. Um, I, I was celibate, um, because, well, we'll go into that later, but I was celibate, but I felt like, oh, I should have sex before marriage so I can know what I'm getting myself into. And I was the first person to answer, and then your response was that you believe that you should wait until marriage to have sex. Mm -hmm. And I was like, kind of speechless. Like, I didn't even know what I thought yeah. at that moment. I was just, cause no one, no guy in my life ever has said something like that to me. And I was just like, and I thought about it for like the entire night. And then the next day, just kind of like, how do I feel about this? I didn't even know. But, um, but yeah, it just, that's how it came up. And then eventually I was like, I like this. Mm -hmm. Cause it was different and it was kind of along the lines of what I wanted anyways. For me, um, the biggest motivation is just being a Christian and wanting to follow the teachings of Jesus. And I just believe that's the right thing to do. My initial reasons for being celibate was, I just didn't want to continue giving myself to someone who ultimately didn't deserve it. Um, I think that when you do that, it clouds your judgment. And I know for me personally, I felt like it clouds my clouded my judgment and I would let things go that I probably shouldn't because you feel like this connection and it's almost like a false connection if you do it before the time is right. And I just remember the last time I did it, I felt just so bad about myself. And I kind of just sat there like, what am I doing? And I had a continuous pattern of doing the same thing and getting the same results, but wanting different results. So I just kind of felt like I need to do something different. And at that moment, I just said, hey, I'm not gonna do this anymore. It wasn't a religious, decision, but it was a personal, like, well-being decision for me initially. And then I'm continuing to do it because um, I met John and I just, I think it's a really good idea. It gives us, I guess, the opportunity to get to know each other without having to worry about that at this moment. So you really get to know a person, have real conversations and figure out, you know, is this the person I wanna really be with? Yes. <laughs> it is. I will say though, at the beginning, it was harder. I think because I wasn't used to that, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like you can't have it, so now I want it, you know? And it was harder, it's still hard now, but I think I don't put myself in situations where I'm gonna make it hard for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 
but yeah, of course, we're uh, two independent, mature adults who are attracted to each other. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely takes some thoughtful effort to. Yes. Yeah, it's not a, a it's not passive. You have to really focus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think waiting can be hard, but I think it's made the relationship easier in some ways. Having the, the boundary that anything sexual is off limits, um, it actually gives us freedom to love each other better, mm -hmm. I think. And just being able to show each other how we respect one another's boundaries uh, had a positive effect, I think. Yeah, I agree. And I think like how I was saying before, it just gives you, it It kind of lets you exist in the relationship with a clear mind. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you're really focusing on the things that are important to you that you would look for, you know, a long-term relationship, so. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's all positive. And the only negative is like, I mean, I can't do it. Exercise self control. <laughs> not getting what you want. Yeah. Right you want but anything worth having, you know, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that's why we're waiting. So that's why we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs>